What's going on guys, Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV here, and today I would like to review for you the MVP Voyager bag. So, holy shit. That was a huge B. <laughs> so, I would like to review for you the MVP Voyager bag. Now, uh, this is definitely one of the most underrated disc golf bags on the market. Now, the reason being, I'm not entirely sure. It's fairly affordable compared to the most, you know, most other models. Uh, it carries a large amount of discs. It carries about 20 discs between the bottom, this, and then plus your two putters, so it might even be like 22 discs. I don't, I don't max this thing out. Plus, I carry a lot of mid ranges and putters, and they're they're quite a bit fatter, so you can definitely fit less of those in. Um, so, what's nice about this bag? When you play in the rain, you can throw the flap down up here, and you can throw this flap, boom, right up here. So if I'm playing, a, especially playing a tournament in the rain, I don't want to have to drop my disc before every throw. I just zip those up, but it's a beautiful day, you know, like today. Let me slap this up here. Slap this down here. Totally, totally open, you know, compartments. Very accessible, very easy to take care of. Now, so we have several side pockets. We have a small side pocket, which I'll usually keep the birdie bag in. When I take my uh, birdie bag out, I usually just you know, put my phone in there, so. Good storage that I use for that. Now, this next side pocket over here, I can zip it up. This is a bigger pocket. I like to put, I'll put like a bar in here. So I got a bar in here. A second birdie bag, just an old grip sack that I have. And then, you know, mini, it's just all that kind of stuff that you would, you know, typically need. We also have a pencil pouch right here so that pencil pouch is gonna allow us to you know keep our pencils in here which is nice this actually has four cup holders um, two large size one for like a big hydro flask and then two small ones that fit, fit like a plastic water bottle now I really like the straps on this bag because they're extremely comfortable it's you know a standard backpack style bag fits nice and comfortably uh, we have the two straps right here to tighten this bag. All we want to do is just boom, boom, boom. We can tighten it up just like that. So now it's a little bit higher. Now to loosen it, all we got to do is take these little tassels and we just pick them up. So now we're good to go. So now those, that's going to be how you loosen the bag. I like to keep it a little bit tighter than this. So the straps are really nice on this bag. And one of the feature that I really enjoy on this bag is it actually has little, uh, legs screwed into it so even if you're on like a weird surface or you're you know you're not in a good place to set your bag down you don't want to fall over you got little legs so you can put it on almost any surface and it's not going to fall over on you so we got all the zipper storage we got a big disc storage uh, we have the covers that cover everything up we have nice quality comfortable backpack straps uh, that's just a general rundown of this bag. Uh, I used this bag all last season and I'm going to use it all this season as well. I don't see myself getting a new bag unless this one breaks. But I've been like extremely heavily using it like a lot and nothing, nothing's ripping, nothing's tearing. It's, it's an extremely good quality bag. So uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. This is Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV and I'm out. Peace.